Welcome to CoderPad. To get started, come up here and click Create Pad. Or if you'd like to create more than one pad, click Create Multiple Pads. Start with one pad today. To go ahead and invite your candidate, come down to the bottom left here and click Invite. And you can either send an email invite, a phone friendly temp link, or a permanent link. We're going to go ahead and copy this. And with a little bit of fast forward magic, we'll show you what it looks like side by side with the candidate screen. On the left here, you'll see the candidate screen. They'll enter their name and the email address. Once they do that, they'll be taken to the waiting room on the left here. And you'll be able to see that they are ready to join the pad and you can come up and click admit. You can see the screens basically look the same with the IDE up top or on the left and the program output on the bottom or on the right. One thing you will have access to that your candidates won't is these private interviewer notes here. And these are notes you can take during the interview itself or after the interview is over for reference. So we'll go ahead and exit out of here. One of the first things you want to do, even before the candidate joins, is to change the pad title here. We recommend using their name and maybe the date and the job they're applying for. As I mentioned on the left is the IDE. You and the candidate will both have access to the IDE and be able to run code. To run code, you can either use your standard keyboard shortcuts or you can click on the run button here and your code will run. You can customize both the editor and the pad settings by coming down here and clicking on the settings icon. You and the candidate will each have your own editor settings and what you do won't affect what the candidate sees and vice versa. As the interviewer, you will have access to these pad settings which include enabling and disabling code execution and a few other things. To switch languages, you have two options. One, if you want to switch the existing language, you can come up here and click switch language. Or if you want to add another language, you can come click on the languages tab and select from a number of different languages. For our purpose, we're going to go ahead and click on Node.js. If you choose a front end, back end, or multi file framework or language, you will have access to a file tree. You can drag and drop files from your local machine into the file tree to add them, or you can also click on the folder and file buttons to add them individually. Both you and the candidate will also have access to drawing mode. You have access to shapes, texts, and lines. Once your interview is over, come down and click the End Interview button. This will prevent the candidate from accessing the pad after the interview is over and allow you to access the pad playback. And here in the playback, you can review both your and the candidate's actions and see some of the highlighted actions, such as when code was run and when code was pasted. And that's it.